evening. I have many wonderful memories from the time that I've spent here at West Shore, and I'm very grateful to the many people for their, for their involvement in my experiences here. First and foremost, I thank God because he has blessed me abundantly. I would also like, like to thank some of the faculty here at West Shore. Thank you to Paula Nesky, the professor for a majority of the classes related to my degree. The Medical Office Information Systems Program was created while I was a student here at West Shore, and I was the first person to ever graduate with that degree. I learned so much from Paula about office work and the medical field, knowledge that continues to serve me well today. Thank you also to Connie Swass, my accounting professor. I'm the first to admit that math has never been my forte. It took me much of that first semester to comprehend the difference between accounts receivable and accounts payable, but Connie was always so patient with me. Thank you to Brad Vanderlaan, my business math professor. As I mentioned, math is not my forte, but Brad always related the business math, pro math concepts to real life situations so well. I enjoyed his class so much that I later worked as a business math tutor th for three semesters through the STARS program here at West Shore. Thank you to Nick Swan, my CPR and first aid instructor. Nick never questioned whether I would be able to perform CPR and first aid. Instead, he always taught me ways to adapt so that I could perform those skills. Thank you to my incredible circle of friends they have helped me through so much over the past several years, including multiple surgeries, many months on bed rest, and through the losses of several people very close to me. I have the most amazing friends a girl could ever ask for. Last, but definitely not least, a very special thank you to the best family in the entire world. Sorry. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you to my sister Sarah and her fiance Matt and their beautiful family. My nieces Sophia, Kara, and Madison mean everything to me and they make me want to be a better person. Thank you so much also to my parents, Russ and Dixie. They have helped me to become the person that I am today. My mom is the most kind, caring, generous, strong, determined person that I have ever known. She is my rock, my hero, and fortunately for me, she is also one of my best friends. Civil rights activist Rosa Parks once said, each person must live their life as a model for others. My mother has been an amazing role model for me, and I sincerely hope to be much like her someday. Before I go, I'd like to share with you a few things that I've learned since graduating from West Shore. First, always be kind. Everyone is struggling with something, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, relational, financial, or something else. You can see that I'm paralyzed due to spina bifida, and you can see from my catheter that I have incontinence issues but you can't see that I also live with anxiety and depression. You may or may not notice what a person is going through, but we are all dealing with something. Always be kind. Also, remember, everything is temporary. Rose Kennedy once said, life is a matter of milestones, it is not a matter of milestones, but of moments. Consider this. One moment you may be really sad because someone you love passed away or, or you broke up with someone. Another moment you may be really happy because you are graduating from West Shore or receiving an award. Appreciate the good times for the laughter and the smiles enjoyed. Endure the bad times for the strength and the lessons learned. During the good and the bad times, remember everything, including life itself, is temporary. In addition, never give up. Life can be really hard sometimes, but you were given this life because you were strong enough to live it. Prior to my graduation from West Shore, there was no ramp leading onto this stage for the commencement ceremony, 
there were only stairs. At the time, someone stated to me that other graduates had previously wheeled in front of the stage to accept their degrees and that that should be acceptable to me as well. I've always been very strong-willed and as someone who was going to graduate with high honors, I felt that I should be able to wheel across the stage just like everyone else. I spoke with President Dillon, who agreed with me, despite some resistance from some of the other administrators. Then, his administrative assistant, Carrie Singleton, worked quickly and diligently to ensure that there was a ramp for me to wheel across during the commencement ceremony. I am forever grateful to Carrie for all of her hard work to make my graduation from West Shore a very memorable experience. Carrie and I never gave up. As a side note, I realized earlier today that this is the first day of National Mobility Awareness Month. Always be thankful for your ability to ambulate wherever you would want, you'd like to go. No, not everyone has that luxury. The human spirit is a powerful and amazing force. No matter what you are struggling with in life or what goal you are trying to achieve, never give up. Finally, always be flexible. Life is a journey and mine has been a wild and crazy ride. When I graduated from West Shore, I thought that I had life all planned out. I was going to get a full-time job at the hospital and to dedicate myself to a long career there. Since graduation, life has not really gone according to my plan. Instead of working full-time at the hospital, my life has consisted